What's up, everybody? Welcome to the VR 5 Minute, your spot for quick VR information without the fluff. Today, I'm here to give you a brief overview of how to use Shadow PC with Virtual Desktop to play PC VR titles on your Oculus Quest or Quest 2 without a PC VR capable gaming computer. Right out of the gate, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have a strong internet connection and Shadow offers a utility to test this right on their website. I've dropped that information into the show notes. Uh, you click that link and it'll take you right over to the test. Shadow recommends that you have a connection of at least 15 down and five up, but you're gonna want something a little stronger with that, uh, as well as you're gonna to wanna to make sure your ping is low because that is where it's at. It's all about the latency. Uh, once you've tested your connection, I, even if you have a strong connection, I do recommend you pick up a dedicated uh, router for your Quest or Quest 2 uh, to use with Virtual Desktop and Shadow PC. This will vastly improve your experience. I'm using an Asus RTAXU82, uh, which has been phenomenal. I played No Man's Sky, for example, for hours without a stutter. I've dropped the link to that in the show notes as well. Finally, of course, you're going to need virtual desktop uh, installed uh, on your Oculus Quest. You're going to need the virtual desktop patch installed from SideQuest. Uh, and then you're going to need the virtual desktop streamer on your Shadow PC. Once you have all of that installed, then you're good to go. Or so you might think. Believe it or not, it's not going to work uh, right out of the gate. And it will require some patience and configuration on your end. And based on your internet connection, everyone's experiences and, and settings might be a little bit different. So do not hesitate to play around and don't get frustrated when it takes a little time to get things up and running. For example, my settings for No Man's Sky are very different from my settings for, uh, say, The Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners, or again, very different from my, saint, uh, my settings for Half-Life Alyx. Uh, so you're not only going to want to adjust your virtual desktop settings, which you access through your Oculus Quest, uh, but believe it or not, adjusting your settings within the game will also make a vast difference in the performance of the experience. And like snowflakes, no game is alike. So it will take experimentation, but at the end of the day, if you invest a little bit of time into, the, into getting things up and running smoothly, it is extremely rewarding. I've been a Shadow subscriber, I think, uh, since sometime last year, and it has fully extended the use of my Quest, and now my Quest 2, where the experience is even better. It did require some patience at the start, but I'm glad I put that time in because it has really given me more than enough to do in VR. So I recommend uh, if you are looking for an alternative to a gaming PC, or if you're a Mac user, uh, look into a Shadow PC uh, with virtual desktop. I will be doing a longer tutorial on some of the individual settings. Uh, this is just an overview. Thank you so much for checking out the VR 5 Minute. If you liked what you see, uh, smash that subscribe button so you know when these videos are dropping.